Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and we're going to be taking a look at the number one graveyard deck in the game right now, and that is this 3.4 Elixir Graveyard Ice Wizard Control deck. This deck right here, right now, is the most popular graveyard deck in Clash Royale. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a graph from RoyalAPI.com that shows how much this deck has been growing in popularity day after day. Right now, one of the best options of a graveyard deck. So, go ahead, jump into our first battle of the evening against Mr. Beast Coast and see how we can do today. Beast? That was my dear friend. What do we want to do? Let's go. Ooh. I don't like that princess at all. No, no, no. So what uses princess and a musketeer? Does anybody know what uses those two cards in combination? Because I don't. But I would love to know. I want to find out. A knight right here. Nice little miner there, dude. Let's activate our king tower with that. That'll help out with future minor defenses with the king tower being activated. He's got a, a miner and a knight. And a musketeer and a princess. What in the world is going on today? Alright, so knight, ice wizard, die. Do work. I mean, ice wizard, don't die. Yeah, nub. Baby D, yeah. Alright, he's gonna go musketeer on the right. We're gonna try and sneak in a graveyard right here to see what our friend Beast Coast do. Beast Coast, what do you got for that? Ooh, a mini P.E.K.K.A. Alright, alright. I see ya. Let's go knight here for the musketeer. The tombstone should hopefully get the word done to the mini P.E.K.K.A. there. If not, we are in a bit of trouble. Okay. Can you pick a die, please? Alright, we got the King Tower activated. Man, that's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. So we got a bit of damage done. This deck is super defensive. You want to focus on defense first by far. And kind of just wait until you have that perfect opening to go graveyard. With any graveyard deck for the most part, one failed graveyard is all it takes to lose a game. Now the princess here is a bit annoying. Um, but I don't think he's got a barrel in his deck, so he might be okay going log on the princess from um, from here on out. But we shall see. I'm still kind of curious what he's got in his deck, because he's, he's got something hiding in there. I don't know, and I really want to know what it is, but I just I don't know yet. You know? You know that feeling, guys, when you don't know, but you want to know? That's me right now. Alright. Graveyard here. What you got, boy? What you got? Poison this. Hit us back. Boom. Musketeer dead. Oh, nice. And he zaps nothing. Graveyard getting the work down to the tower there. A bit more chip damage as well. Let's go Knight here for the princess. And I want to actually, you know what? I'm going to go super uh, aggressive here with another Graveyard princess here. Just to see what our friend Beast Coast does. Here we go. Hit us together. A bit aggressive with the NATO, but we do get some good damage done. Minipika goes down right there. Tower at 586 health. All we need is two poisons to finish him off. Knight, I suppose you're here for the Minipika. We'll use a uh, Tombstone if we need it as well, but I don't think we will. Maybe we'll take care of that. Can we poison? Let's poison this Jazz. I'll get back as well. Get the Tower and the Knight and the Princess and the Musketeer. And let's go. There we go. Good game. We'll play. Uh, Graveyard finish it off here. Do work. We're still it's not dead yet. What are you doing? Come on, skeleton. Smack. Oh, there we go. I was wondering that tower was going to go down. But Mr. Beast Coast, good game. Well played. Interesting deck, my friend. Interesting deck. Um, I love seeing off meta strategies in this game. Definitely makes me happy. So, what do we got here? What do we got here? Legendary card? No, unfortunately not. Now, in case you guys didn't know, on News Rail over here, there is a vote going on right now for the next balance changes. I gotta tell you guys, I, uh... When I saw the list, I was very disappointed. I was like, first of all, how are the Royal Recruits not a guaranteed buff? Like, why are we voting for that? That's like, that should be a guaranteed buff right there. They are a weak card. And the Ice Wizard right now is like, top meta deck. Like, a lot of the top meta decks in the game have Ice Wizard in it. It has a healthy one percentages and a healthy uh, use rate. 
And for some reason, the buff for the Ice Wizard in there. They said they were posting four buffs for weak cards. And I was like, how is the Ice Wizard a weak card? Like, it's in some of the top best meta decks right now. I don't even know, guys. It is absolutely insane. So, Mihawks. What you got? All right, so we're going to go Ice Wizard here for the Mega Minion. And see what our friend does. Mega Minion is in a... Okay, it's Giant. It is Giant Beatdown. Giant Beatdown. Banana na Banana na It's Giant Beatdown. It's Giant Beatdown. Oh, the Mega Minion getting destroyed there. Nice lightning spell, my dude. We're going to nail this back. That way both towers can finish it off pretty uh, quickly. quickly. Mm, one giant smack. Don't like that. No, sir. Let's go Tombstone over here. And potentially... I, hey, 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 Tombstone. I wanted you one tile over, you nub. What, are you kidding me? He's going to Ice Wizard 2. This is Poison Valley, I do believe. Can the Ice Wizard please? Nice. Graveyard. Oh, the arrow's coming down. That gets a tower. Ooh. I mean, we almost had some good damage there. But the bowler is taking a sweet time crossing the bridge. We gotta use our Ice Wizard here to kill that bowler. Ready for this? Boom. Boom. Knight right here. We need everything back right here. Wait for it. Needle up this lane. Nice. Knight. Uh, giant die, please. Thank you, thank you. I suppose it, no, he's got Inferno Tower as well? Who uses Inferno in a beatdown deck? I did not see that coming at all, dudes. That sucks. Uh oh, we missed that drop too. Oh, we did. We good, we good. He's here. Nice. What is he lightning here? What is he lightning? He arrows that. Can to get a graveyard right here because his arrows is out of rotation? Make a graveyard. I might get some stuff built up there. We'll see. We'll see. A little bit of stuff building build up right there. Do work graveyard, please. More damage. More damage. Tower go down. His arrows is out. And the tower goes down. Oh, man. Good game. What a weird deck. Like, literally, what a weird deck. He had Inferno Tower and Lightning and a giant beatdown. Ay ay ay. What in the world is going on? Alright, let's go ahead, jump into one more ladder battle. Keep it going, keep it going, keep the W's flowing. Alrighty, so we got uh, no tombstone. The tombstone, in my opinion, is my preferred starting uh, hand. For whatever reason. For whatever reason. Emmanuel, he's got more debate. Ooh, it's more debate. How did I know? I called it. And that sucks. Mortar, mortars. Mortar is mortar, and it is nasty. It is nasty. Seriously? That rocket is disgusting. Disgusting. How is that even legit? How is that even allowed? Oh, man, that's disgusting. It is nasty. We gotta go log here, because we got nothing else to... Oh, nice, we got Goblin Gang. <laughs> yeah, you roll your eyes all you want. Are you gonna rocket that or no? Huh? Are you gonna rocket? Shall we go one of these? I think we shall. See how it goes. Get this together. There we go. All right. It gets a bit of damage done. Not the craziest amount of damage and nothing to kind of like, I guess, be excited about because we are going to be dead to a mortar here soon. Oh, man, we're dead. Maybe not. Maybe not. We good. There we go. What's back here? I suppose he here. Maybe a bit of an overcommitment on defense by me, but I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think? Overcommitment or no? Maybe D here for the knight. Potentially a graveyard push in the nah too too aggressive, Shane. Stop being such a nub. Oh, we almost used graveyard there, Shane. We almost graveyarded it up there. Let's just poison the bats and the uh, the mortar. 
That should get some stuff done, right? Not right here. There we go, there we go. Ice Wizard for his uh, Spear Goblins. Maybe down here as well. Let's go, uh, let's go Graveyard right now and get our Nado ready as well. Nado this back. Ice Wizard, turn around please. Yes, there we go. That's some damage. That's something. Mm, a bit aggressive something is what it is. Knight right here. Ice Wizard over here. But a baby did in this business as well to, to finish this stuff off here. I suppose we'll tank after the night goes down. What do you got? What do you got? Nail's back here. Honestly, we keep, if we just keep poisoning here, we're two poisons away from winning. Oh, the baby's are locking on. Tower goes down. Good game, man. That's what you get for using mortar bait. <laughs> oh, we destroyed. This deck, I mean, obviously you have some good splash damage in there. Uh, with the NATO, the, the Baby Dragon, and the Ice Wizard, so it, it, it's no surprise we won that. We had so much Blast damage, like we 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 counted them pretty well. Um, we had Knight, we had Knight, Ice Wizard, and Tombstone to distract the Mortar. His uh, rocket wasn't really value against any of our stuff um, because uh, it, it it just really isn't. Um, so overall, we had a pretty good deck there. Now this deck does have some unfavorable matchups, however, like. Three Musketeers or Lava Loon are a lot harder to win with because you don't really have a uh, a heavy air defense card. Um, for the most part, you separate your Ice Wizard, your Balloon, or your Ice Wizard, your Baby Dragon, nail together and uh, do splash damage, but it can be definitely a harder matchup. Right, so we're going to go ahead here, guys. Hop into replay number one, facing off against Mr. Mason up top there, and he is rocking the classic 2.6. Hog Cycle. This deck right here that he's using is one of the most popular decks in the game right now. I would say like number two most popular with number one being Giant Three Musketeer Bait Spam. By the way guys, quick question if you're watching right now. What are you hoping to see in the next balance update? Uh, the next balance update I believe is coming in October 1st. What are you hoping to get nerfed or buffed? Personally, I uh, absolutely, this is, I'll be honest with you guys. I. I absolutely loathe, I despise the giant Three Musketeer bait spam deck. Uh, so I hope that gets nerfed somehow. I don't mind Three Musketeers. Like if they use like, a, let's say a minor, a mini pick, a Three Musketeer, you know, just just not that one. It's just the giant Three Musketeer pump bait spam that drives me insane. So anyways, I'm being distracted here. So we do a crazy push on the right there, guys. Baby Dragon, Graveyard, Forest Tower, absolute work being done. As soon as I knew he had 2.6 Hog Cycle, I knew he didn't really have the greatest Graveyard counters, so I went all in for a push and did some work to his tower. However, he had a pretty good counter push right there with the Hog Rider destroying our tower. Not too sure why, if you guys noticed, the Hog Rider initially started going to the Tombstone and then went back to the tower. I have literally zero idea why that happens. Some people say that um, at first the Tombstone is closer, but once the Hog Rider gets closer to the Tombstone, in the process, it ends up getting closer to the tower and redirects, but I don't think I believe that. I, I, I honestly think it's just a bug, to be honest. I, If anyone from Supercell can confirm if that is intentional or not, but I 100% think it's a bug. So right there, he logs the graveyard. We do have a couple of skeletons surviving, and his tower all the way down to 57 health. So here we are with a solid damage lead on both of his towers. All we need is two poisons on the right, and a log on the left to finish him off. So, we're going to keep the defense up right here. Uh, I believe we NATO. No, we don't NATO. We don't really need to. It's only one hog hit, so we don't really matter. Anyways, uh, Knight, I was up there. Going to go Baby Dragon and I believe a Graveyard here for his tower. And then we poison the Skeletons. Yes. Looking back at it, I should have just poisoned the Musketeer as well. That was a mistake by me. But it doesn't really matter because there's 30 seconds left in battle right here. And his tower on the left is at 57 health. So, we have ourselves... Pretty soon here, a two crown victory. Now, Tombstone to pull his Hog Rider over with, I believe, a NATO here. Yes, we NATO back. No tower for you, my dear friend Mason. I'm going to make you work for it. So right there, Knight up front, Graver on his tower. Baby D in the middle right there. The Skeletons do finish his tower off. A lot going down for the Musketeer. Now, he locks our tower for the one crown. I'm assuming for his crown chest. But in the end, we have ourselves a two crown victory. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into one more replay over here, facing off against a giant double prince bait deck, I believe. 
He's got bats, I think three spells in there. And Goblin Gang and Spear Gobs, I believe. I could be wrong. We'll see. We'll see. So anyways, I think we both wait a while. Yeah, we'll fast forward. We both wait a while. Emote spam is OP. And then eventually he drops bats in the back, which we ignore. Because bats aren't really too important. You can just ignore them easily. Now we go Ice Wizard for the Prince. So, I'm expecting a giant up front. A giant goes down. I'm going to go ahead here with a Baby D. And I believe a Knight for the Prince. Ideally... You want to log the Prince first before going Knight to deny the Prince charge. But unfortunately, with our card rotation there, we didn't have the log in cycle. Now, we still defend it pretty well there. Uh, tower at 33.88. Baby Dragon going back on the tower, getting a few shots as a whale. And I believe one Ice Busy shot in the end. So, we actually have the damage lead here so far. He goes Dark Prince and Goblin Gang. Pretty aggressive. We have, of course, the Ice Wizard and the Baby Dragon ready to go, clearing out all of the Swarm. Kind of like a Bridge Band push by him with the Dark Prince and the Goblin Gang. And the Baby Dragon getting extra value against his bats. Ay ay ay, indeed, my dear friend, Penguin Killer. So, Baby Dragon once again gets some shit damage done. 2,800 health on his tower so far. Once again, he goes Prince behind his King Tower right here, I do believe. And we have a Tombstone down this time to pull the Giant over. Also, we can get the log down in time to deny the Prince charge right there. Log going down, no Prince charge for him, which allows the Knight to tank longer and kill that Giant faster. So, I believe we go Tombstone there to pull the Prince over. We miss the Prince, Prince kills the Ice Wizard, I cry on the inside, and the Baby Dragon does work to the Bats and the Mega Minion. Now, I believe we get a Graveyard ready right here because the Baby Dragon will tank. So, Graveyard going down with, I believe, a... No, we don't, we don't do anything, so... I was thinking about poisoning there or nadoing, but when the giant went down, I knew we would have to save the elixir for defense. So I decided to kind of not go poison and save the elixir for the defense right here, which I think was valuable, allowing us to destroy the giant prince and the mega minion. Now we have the final counter push right here. Baby dragon tanking, graveyard going down. He, I believe, poisons right here, but it's too late. Getting a good amount of damage done. Baby dragon one shot. Ice Wars gets some splash damage as well. Tower. All the way at 900 health. Now, doing very well so far here. Ice was down to take care of the Prince. Knight going down as well. I believe a Tombstone to pull the Giant over. And now we go all in for the victory. Graveyard down. Natal for the Bats. The Giant still distracted by our Tombstone. And in the end, the Tower goes down. And we have ourselves a 1 crown victory. We absolutely dominated that battle. Alright, so let's go ahead, you guys, finish off with a Grand Challenge battle. See how we can do against the Sad Panda up top there. Why is he so sad? Leave your guests down below why Mr. Sad Panda is so sad. Alright, well, we're dead. That's GG's right there. You know why I say that, guys? It's because we don't have punish cards. We have not. We don't have Graver, we don't have Poison, we don't have anything. We are dead. I could Poison there, but it's too late by now. You know? Sayonara. Because we a dead, son. Wasn't the graveyard? Nice. We only get two of the musketeers in that poison spell, which is a bit unfortunate. But I mean, only one of them survives. But yeah, that's not the starting hand you want to have against this deck. You Like, against... This is why I said before that I load this deck. That I just despise it is if you don't have the proper starting hand, you literally are just doomed. Like quite literally, you just get like you you got you have to have the perfect opening play, otherwise you can't do anything. Like you got to. So now we kill the the, the musketeer there. We have he's gonna pump right here, I believe. I want to go knight graveyard poison, but it'd be hard to afford that. There's his pump. Knight, Graveyard. Minion Horde down there, nice. And Bats. No Bats, we're gonna go Ice Wizard here for the... Nice. So we're getting a bit of damage done. We still didn't really punish that Pump though. Which, like I said before, is a pretty unfortunate. Tombstone down for this. Does he go through Musketeers here or no? I want to get Poison value on his tower and the Giant. Alright. So let's go... 
Baby Dragon right here, getting some good damage to that tower there. Nice. All this back as well as the tower. Oh man, look at this. That's alright. You ask me, that's alright for sure. Tombstone for the uh, Baby Dragon here. Oh man, we have so much splash damage, he should be dead here guys, easily. This should be an easy D right here, easy D. I love those easy Ds right there guys, for sure. Oh man, that was nice. There we go, there we go, this tower is dead. All that ranting guys, if we have ourselves a flawless victory here maybe. All that salt earlier on against this deck. Honestly though, I don't even know. Honestly something. Is it flawless? Oh, it is! Good game! <laughs> oh, man. All of that sell for nothing, guys. I still don't like this deck, but we absolutely destroyed it. Actually, anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Here is the deck one more time if you want a chance to go in and copy it. Like I said before, right now, it is the number one most popular graveyard deck in Clash Royale. And it also has some very strong win percentages as well. So, if you guys are looking for a good graveyard deck, here is one for you. Guys, that is the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to some more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.